is still not in vogue, not with the general public, hence the nonstop public relations campaign that we see from the White House. Now, mostly selling the notion that it's something that's just and fair. Now, they never really talk about the cost, both uh, numerical costs and societal. So I want to bring in American Action Forum's Douglas Old Aiken. And Douglas, you know, I, I want to ask you about the cost, the, the actual price tag of, of these big government utopias that, that's being pitched to us right now, and how history has proven that it's not necessarily the thing that creates social justice. Yeah, I think you have to be skeptical of the, the price tags on these programs. Uh, there's the budget cost. You hear so much about the $4 trillion that, that Blake referred to. But there are deeper costs in terms of uh, economic performance. Uh, all the estimates suggest that uh, the combined impact of the tax increases and these spending programs is going to slow economic growth. When it slows economic growth, we're going to have less productivity growth, less growth in real wages. That's people's standard of living. That's a huge cost when that slows down. And it's not going to be distributed equally. It's going to create more divisions, not fewer divisions. So you end up with a, a situation where they've overpromised and it will underdeliver. Uh, and it won't be the first time. I mean, listen, we, we go back to, I guess, <laughs> to, to, the, to the New Deal and then, uh, the, you know, the Great Society, and, and then we have Obamacare. What I find amazing is that every time these things are, are promoted and then eventually passed, uh, they're, 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 we celebrate. This is it. This is this is leveled the playing field, and to your point, we find out maybe the playing field got a, a little bit more skewed. Yeah, and, and one of the things it does is it makes you be forced to go through the government to get something. Right? These are all uh, s more centralized controls in the American economy. So rather than have you know an idea, an entrepreneur, a new product, and an innovation, you got to get a regulation and get a waiver on a regulation, and, and then get permission to go ahead and try to do it and. Uh, that, that's where you get the real damage. You're using politics to allocate resources in the economy instead of letting markets drive capital to its most productive use. That's, that's an ongoing characteristic of these larger governments, whether historically or uh, around the globe right now. Uh, I saw your piece this morning uh, recounting uh, how, how the media really tried to rip you a little bit uh, for saying that federal government that did top off to, to unemployment benefits at $300 may have stopped some people from seeking work. You were portrayed as a heartless conservative dissing the working American. You also, of course, mentioned child care as a contributing factor. Yet there was a good piece uh, I saw in the Peterson Institute, and you mentioned it yesterday, suggesting maybe, maybe it wasn't child care after all. Maybe it was mostly the extra $300. Your thoughts after reading that? So uh, this is a, another example of how it really pays to just look at the numbers. I mean, I, I would thought, well, we, we hear all these stories about daycares being closed, schools being closed. Taking care of the kids must be a big problem for a lot of people get, to go back to work. It just made sense to me. But three people, um, uh, Jason Furman, um, uh, Melissa Carney, and, and William Powell, took a look at the data. And to my surprise, they concluded that people went back faster if they had kids than those who did not. And indeed, uh, the, the fraction of uh, particular populations, men, women, particular ages, education. If you look at the comparison between those with and without kids, those with kids are working more. So that, that's news, and it suggests that's not as big a deal as I had somehow suspected and others had thought. And instead, you have to look for other factors. And one of the big factors that's just staring at us is 37% of American workers will make more on UI than they will back at their other job. And that's a lot of people, and we, get, we have to get everyone back to work as quickly as possible. Yeah. Well, uh, you ended the piece by saying we'll see uh, these 20-some-odd states that have, are taking it back yeah. in a couple of months. We'll have a real, real-life example of whether or not that thesis was right. I'm going to bet that it was, does Douglas, uh, like you mostly are all the time as well. Appreciate it, my friend. Talk to you again real soon.